seconds. Steve Gray, very happy to hear the bell at the end of that round four. His opponent, Clive Myers, not quite so happy. This is the boy who turned pro uh, about five years ago in 1970. A couple of years having the experience in Deptford. He also boxed as a schoolboy. Bout with the uh, world lightweight champion George Kidd is still his ambition. And I still don't think he's had one, certainly not for the title. Seconds out, round five. Round five, two to go, one fall to decide this preliminary contest here at the Woodville Halls Gravesend. Clive Myers of Jamaica versus Steve Gray of London. Max Ward, the referee. You'll never have an easier bout to deal with than this one. Occasional pinfall counts, occasional um, knockout count, counts, but no warnings at all from Max Ward to either man. Great sportsmanship by both men, and both men really enjoying it. Full Nelson again by Gray. He's tried this two or three times, especially in the first round. Never got anywhere with it. Oh, nice it through. Oh, yes. And a quick turnover now, but no, it's too late on it. A nice stop there by Gray from the stomach butt. A bit quick round the side. A double knee hold of Gray. Now, can he hold it? Oh, he's got a two. Double leg Nelson now to Myers, but no, no chance. The spin out came before the, the counter is arrived. Beautiful effort by Gray. Again against the ropes, and it's Myers not too near the ropes. Is he touching? No, he's not touching, and the referee allows it. So a win for Myers in round five, but what a beautiful bout, especially that last two or three rounds. A one four required, and Bobby Palmer, our MC, to announce it. Uh, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, if I might pass my opinion, and I feel sure you've seen wrestling at its best. And in round five, ladies and gentlemen, with the only four required, the winner, Clive Myers. And the loser, please.